Some massive, massive breaking news as it has just been announced that Ryan Blaney has been disqualified after the NASCAR Cup Series race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. As I just said a second ago, we got some massive, massive breaking news that just came out. As it was announced about 20 minutes ago that Ryan Blaney has been disqualified after the NASCAR Cup Series race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The reason Ryan Blaney got disqualified was for the left front shock not meeting their overall specified length outline. He will get credit with only a single point today. Meaning that Ryan Blaney, who had a fantastic run going, had done, I think he ended up finishing 6th or 7th in today's NASCAR Cup Series race. That is absolutely huge. And Ryan Blaney going into the next weeks is in a must-win situation. So much to the fact that Ryan Blaney now is 56 points below the cutoff line. And I think that changes things as well for the playoff cutoff line because William Byron now moves 11 points above the cutoff line. Denny Hamlin's 4 above and Mark Trix Jr. is 3 above. I believe Chris Abel stays 3 below. I think Reddick gains a little bit. He's 15 below. Chris Bush is 23 below. And Ryan Blaney's 56 below. Absolutely massive implications. And this is now the second disqualification we have seen in the last few weeks. Remember, we had saw a disqualification after the NASCAR Cup Series race at Talladega Super Speedway, which Ryan Blaney had won, by the way. We saw Kevin Harvick get disqualified after the NASCAR Cup Series race as well. I am very intrigued to see if there's going to be any sort of, maybe we see an appeal come down or something along those lines from the team. I'm not sure if they're going to appeal or not at this point, but massive, massive and huge implications going forward. I was not expecting this, and Again, I feel for Ryan Blaney. Penske's had a struggling year. Obviously, Penske was going to try to do some things to try to get into the next round. And that's why I think Tech took so long to get through tonight, simply because of that fact that we had those major implications. So instead of being maybe like 9 or 10 points below, Ryan Blaney is 56 points below the cutoff line. Massive implications and huge news is coming out here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Again, we, we didn't see any of these before the playoffs started, but now that's two Fords who've had disqualifications. And there's been a lot of penalties for the Ford camp the last two weeks. Obviously, the last few years, you've had a lot of Ford penalties. I go back to 2022, and you had Bragg Zossi get a penalty. Got 100 point, multiple big penalties. Kevin Harvey got 100, 200 point penalties in the last couple of years. We've seen a lot of Ford teams have massive implications and huge penalties. As for Kyle Larson, who won the race, there were no major penalties came from him. His win stands, and he will be going to the championship four, so really happy about that. But huge implications in regards to Ryan Blaney. So, that is going to be today's special breaking news report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that, and comment your thoughts below on today's video. What are your thoughts about the Ryan Blaney disqualification, and are you shocked or not? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have an update video discussing what's going to be coming out on the channel over the next two weeks. I may also release the Truck Series race picks for Homestead. If not, that's going to come out on Tuesday along with the NASCAR Finney Series race picks for Homestead Miami Speedway. Wednesday, there should be a NASCAR news video dropping in the channel. Thursday should be race picks of the Cup Series race at Homestead, but there could be a lot of videos dropping this week as more major news does end up getting announced. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.